This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in Glen Allen, Virginia. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. This home is located here in a cul-de-sac. We've got a nice quiet cul-de-sac here and this home is recently renovated. A lot of work has been put into it to include new kitchen, cabinets, flooring, carpet, uh, electrical has been given some attention and uh, it is in good condition. If you're at all familiar with Glen Allen, a lot of people love this area due to its convenient location and the schools are very well respected. If you've been paying attention to recent videos, you noticed that in the last video, I actually started off in the intro and uh, you see yours truly in your frame for at least the first uh, few seconds. I have a good friend, she's uh, more like a sister, and she said she doesn't like the new format. So uh, one thing that I've learned in my time on earth is that it is important to listen to women. But I told her I was gonna take it to my viewers and see what you guys think. Uh, should I go ahead and uh, do the intro like I just did or not? If you prefer not to see me, uh, just let me know. It won't hurt my feelings. Uh, here we can see on this home, uh, we are on about one eighth of an acre and uh, we have a fairly open backyard. There is a screened sunroom here on the rear. Uh, this home also features a storage building, which would convey as well. So not too much grass to maintain here. This property line probably stops at the other side of this utility box. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell, uh, but I can just basically eyeball it and tell. A survey, of course, it would be the most accurate way to tell exactly where the property line starts and stops. Okay, we can see we have low maintenance vinyl and a great looking roof. This home is unique for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one is that we have slab construction. I'm gonna show you this on the front, but there's something else that I see as well. Uh, if you take a look at those dots and they look like they're about one every um, 11, 10 or 11 inches, those dots are a telltale sign that this home was treated for termites. When they do a termite uh, treatment, they drill holes and then they inject uh, a pesticide in those holes. So uh, that's just a quick note. If you see holes like that in a foundation or in a crawl space, that's what they are. Now, if we look here on the front, you see we've got about two courses of brick there at the base. I can immediately tell that that's too small for a crawl space. Uh, when we get closer here to the door, we can see that it's even smaller. So what that means is we have slab construction, which basically is that they came in and they poured a concrete. So we don't have any air space between the interior floor of the house and the ground itself. So we are standing on solid concrete. They of course then come in and put the finished flooring on top of that. Okay, here to the right, we have our formal dining room. Straight ahead takes us uh, to the rear of the home. Of course, our stairs going up. Here to the left, this is going to be a separate space. This could be purposed as a sitting room, as they have it now, a kind of a formal space. Or if somebody desired, they could actually make this a home office. You've got the doorway there. A door could be installed, or you could just simply leave it open. Good natural light, of course, flows in through the front two windows. And so this space could go a few different ways. We're gonna go straight across to our formal dining room. You'll see that uh, they have left some furniture here and the furniture can be purchased separately if someone is interested. Normally, when we look at real estate, uh, the only thing that typically will convey, only if asked for, is gonna be your appliances. So uh, usually personal property is not part of a real estate transaction, but uh, that doesn't mean buyer and seller can't negotiate separately. Okay, we're gonna transition now to our other section of home. This home actually does have two primary suites, and this is going to be number one. This is great for a multi-generational situation. Uh, you have uh, two uh, members of the family, two or more members of the family that kind of need large bedrooms and need their own space. Uh, both of them will have ensuite bathrooms and this is the first one here this lvp runs pretty much throughout the entire first floor I've got a tub shower here uh, so that means that in this home we've got three tubs i know some of my viewers really 
love to have at least one. You've got three tubs here uh, in this home. And of course, our walk-in closet. I love this bedroom because it's nice and close to the kitchen. So if you get the munchies late night, all you have to do is take a couple steps and boom, here you are right here at the new fridge. All of these appliances are brand new with the exception of the dishwasher. Our smooth top right there, of course, and our Maytag microwave. Brand new cabinets. This is going to be high definition laminate for our countertop. And directly under the light fixture, of course, would be the dinette. You've got that window looking directly out to the back. So good natural light flows in there. And this is going to be our carrier heat pump. And it is in place here next to our electric water heater. As we transition now to the family room portion of the house, uh, to the left we have an actual coat closet. Now, this could be repurposed since we are right here in the kitchen area. If somebody wanted to repurpose that as a pantry, it would just be a matter of changing out the shelves and putting uh, shelves that are appropriate for uh, food and food storage. Okay, of course, you're looking into our family room. I'm gonna give you a shot here from the other direction so you can see how open uh, this space is. This is a really neat space here. This is a screen porch, and this is a big screen porch here. Uh, this is going to be uh, a space where uh, you probably can use it for three seasons. There's not any heat back here, and of course, uh, these openings are uh, completely open, but there is nothing to say that if you wanted to close this in with traditional uh, windows and then put a heat source, Back there, it could be used uh, much more during the year if desired. All right, I'm going to take you back to the hallway where we have our powder room, which is right here convenient near the front door and to the dining area. Got that pedestal sink in there. All right, we're going to now go upstairs to the second level. Uh, this is a really good price point for a five bedroom house in Glen Allen. If you have the need for a high bedroom count, it is really hard to do it uh, under 400,000 in Western Henrico. Okay, this is going to be our primary bedroom. Really good size. You could obviously get a king size bed and plenty of additional furniture uh, in this space. We have a walk-in closet here, and this is probably a good seven feet deep good storage space. And we are now in our primary bath. We've got a fiberglass tub shower. This is going to be ceramic tile here on the floor. Got a window with natural light. And then here's your shot from the other angle. Really good space. All right, I'm going to take you down the hallway so we can see the secondary bedrooms. This is new carpet up here throughout the second level as well. Here to the left is going to be our hall bath. It also features a fiberglass tub shower. Everything in good condition. They put our laundry here on the second level. Your washer dryer would go right there. And then directly Across the hall is another bedroom, but before we go there, we have a little linen closet here right next to the bathroom entrance. I love this bedroom because this is also an oversized bedroom. So we've got really good sized bedrooms here in this five bedroom home. Three windows here. We're now looking towards the front of the house and our closet is right here. I'm going to take you down the hallway. We have an absolutely gorgeous today here. I love this time of year. Our leaves are changing, and um, this is a uh, an absolute fabulous time of year. Uh, it has slowed down a little bit as far as competition for buyers. So if you were thinking about purchase, this is a good time. The competition level has definitely dropped off, and um, uh, grant money is still available. 100% financing is still available. So it does not take a whole lot of cash. I would love to hear from you, whether you're here in the Metro Richmond area or anywhere in the country. We've got people all over the country that would be able to help you as a first time buyer or as 
any type of buyer or seller. Okay, we are now in our bonus room. This is the space that is over the primary bedroom downstairs. And this floor plan uh, probably was built with that space as being a garage, uh, but in this particular home, it's actually a second primary bedroom. So this is a really good sized house, great floor plan. As I said, for multi-generational uh, type situations at a very fair price for Glen Allen, Virginia. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. Please be sure to let me know. My question earlier was, do you prefer my little intro with my face at the very beginning or you prefer not to see me? You won't hurt my feelings. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures. On YouTube, under my name, Max Williams Realtors. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.